for an individual to actually build up um, muscle. Um, the problem is they do have side effects. It's undesirable to misuse anabolic steroids like most other drugs. And is it possible to perhaps be a young athlete and unintentionally take something that is illegal? There's, there's some chance from perhaps contaminated supplements, but that's um, something of the past. Contam supplements are rather better controlled nowadays, and as long as the athlete is careful in what they take, um, it's less likely they'll have accidental cases of ingesting anabolic steroids. Are the, the, the legal bulking agents in fact doing the same thing as steroids? Or Interesting they... um, question. I mean, food is a jolly good way of actually um, building up muscle with proper exercise. And there are some supplements, protein supplements, for example, um, which are a, a quick source of getting in that protein. Um, but food is, you know, proper diet is probably the best but way to But a steroid is very different, is it? Um, a steroid, yes, it has an extra bodybuilding capability. Um, but for, certainly for a male, they have to take much larger doses than normal. Um, and that is harmful. Now, you, you of course led the uh, 2012 effort, as I was saying, when it came to anti-doping. Uh, where do we stand in the World League table when it comes to actually detecting and deterring athletes? Thank you for the deterring, because that's a very important part of our work. Um, you know, our role really is to say, don't misuse drugs. Um, but if you do, um, you're going to get caught and you're going to be penalised, and that is part of the whole deterrent um, programme. I think in the UK, dare I say, that um, you know, we are in the forefront. We work with UK Anti-Doping. Um, they, they ensure that um, athletes are properly sampled, um, that the samples come to us for testing, um, and then they usually deal with results management. And how widespread is this? Because the, the cases we were seeing in that report there, they're, they're quite young people, uh, still, still coming up and playing quite a junior level. I mean, how, how widespread is testing of people for doping now? Um, our figures actually don't show um, the ex extent of people who have misused drugs. Home office um, do have figures. No, they actually show mean, you know, sorry. if you're playing in the park, is someone going to turn oh, yeah. up and ask you to give a sample? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, the idea is if you're in a certain level of sport that you could be asked to give a, um, a, take a drug test any place, any time. And the idea is for a proper deterrent to work, you've got to actually make sure that you have a chance of being um, sampled and hence um, that we can do the analysis. And, and just one final question. When we look at the bulking up of that England rugby team yeah. there, is it possible that that's been done naturally? It is possible to build up bulk naturally. Um, you know, you have to do a lot of hard exercise. You've got to have a proper diet, but you can do it naturally. Professor